All right, we're back and we have a new greenhouse, you guys. We pushed through today. We got it all assembled. We got the top on and I am so stoked. Now, there's a few differences between this one and the old one. The biggest is these are probably twice as thick as the old poles. You can see I have hanging baskets and they're heavy, they're full of water. Holding on, it's not even flinching it. I tried to do that with the old one and they started to bend. I could literally bend them with my hands. This one also has water irrigation. Not probably useful for what I'm using this greenhouse for because I want to have tables and seedlings and different stuff in here. I'm not growing like in the ground. If I had rows with like lettuce and kale and stuff, they would be amazing. Um, it's like a sprinkler system. So you turn it and it sprays further the other way and then it's more concentrated. I am wondering if there's a way to hook up the water so I could feed my baskets. I'm not really sure. I'm not handy with that kind of stuff. But the downfall is the cover. The other cover was held on with like little white elastic. Let me see if I can find one of them. I call them doohickeys because I have no idea what they're actually called. These things. So there was eyelets in the plastic and they came and hooked around. This plastic does not have them at all and where it ties it ties to the greenhouse here and there's only four one two three four on each side the other one velcroed and it velcroed quite a bit so it was more secure but we are going tomorrow and the weather should be okay tonight to get the strapping and we will sandwich the plastic on with the strapping like on the outside so that should uh, secure it plenty. And the door, I had to move to this side because once we put the water source in, I couldn't come in and out that door anymore. So it's now in the front. And the zipper's a little janky on this. It only zips from one side. It's not like two zippers. So that's kind of disappointing. But uh, I don't expect the zipper to last long anyway. So we will hopefully um, put a door in here so it'll last longer. But I'm so excited now. This is finally, finally up. <laughs> I pray we don't get any more storms. There's a lot of work. And we cleaned up in here. That's nicer space for working. But yeah, I did a time lapse of building it. I will put that in or you might have already seen that. I'm not sure which way I'm going to orientate this, but uh, yeah, so excited. Got the heater going. I got to get the thermometer back in here. It's cold. Like see my breath cold. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. I will get back to you after we put the strapping on and get it all secure and let you know how it's turning out. All right. Bye.
Hey, so I'm back out in the new greenhouse. Uh, we have secured the cover, I should say covers, to it. Uh, so I decided, because the old cover had a screen door in it, even though it had some rips, I wanted to put it on underneath the new cover. Um, it's slightly smaller in some areas, so it's kind of pulling tight and the windows don't match exactly but i thought this is going to work nice it's a double layer of protection it's raining and cold out and it's so beautiful in here so i'm really happy with that also like i was explaining before we couldn't connect the outside in here because there was nothing to connect to now the old cover that's on first was connected all the way around and then on the outside the new cover is now sandwiched in with uh, some strapping and screwed in keeping it nice and tight so I'm so excited I can't believe how nice it is in here actually I have some pots that need to be filled um, yeah I'm still trying to figure out how to get my water in here though um, I got my extension cord through a little hole there and the hose can probably fit under there and come in for now um, but the hose I have is not long enough so I might have to get another one ultimately what I think we're gonna do maybe if my husband's willing to do it for me um, he mentioned removing this and putting a T in so we could hook I want the hose to the bottom of this outside like it's supposed to be um, but we could tee a hose in here and then this one we'd have to install a shut off valve so we didn't have water running to the sprinkler system if we don't want to so I'm not sure if that's even possible we're gonna look into it if not we might have to because it's on a driveway it's obviously we can't dig through the dirt we might have to drill a hole um, in the wood behind there just big enough to fit the hose through and do that um, so I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna do it but we'll figure something out I'm just so happy to have this up it just feels so secure now nice and steady again we will have to put in a new door eventually um, the zippers in these don't last very long one season maybe and then then they're goners so we'll we'll do that and when we do I don't know if you can see this we'll have a two by four running from the bottom to the top on this side and the bottom to the top on that side and that gives it the rigidity that you need and then we'll frame a door in there but I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon because it's planting season it's a busy time but let me take you outside and show you how we secured the outside of it all right we're outside now so you can see what it looks like from back here so what we had done is we pulled down on the tarp or the cover um, as tight as we could and then screwed the piece of strapping well I guess it's a one by four from our uh, local what are they called mills I guess so yeah we just pulled it nice and taut and screwed that in and then did the same all around so you can see it's nice and tight it should keep the rain and snow off of it if we get any more. I'll just go around sides. We don't have anything over the door yet. So I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna hold that down. So I gotta come up with an idea to put something here when the door's closed. And my plan when everything's open is this odor door from the new cover will be rolled up, tied up, and then I can roll up the inside door and just have the screen. 
So that makes me very happy about that. Some of these corners didn't fit quite right because the base that we had from the other greenhouse wasn't the exact same size and we didn't want to rebuild the base. So you can kind of see it sticks out a bit. I'm hoping this is going to be okay. I'm probably going to tape, tape some of that. And then it's just along this edge is the same. So you see it kind of pulls it nice and tight. And then the back, I'll show you what I was thinking. There's where the sprinkler system comes out. So if we hook a hose to that, then we would just have water inside the greenhouse all the time. Um, if we can't do that, then we will probably just drill like a, a big hole here, wide enough to fit a hose through and just go through that way. And uh, hopefully that'll work. So you can see what it looks like from back here. I'm just, I'm so happy with this right now. I can't even express it. So glad we got a new model. Like I said, Oh Sunny's a great product, but you just gotta get the right model. And they have a lot to choose from, so. Just make sure you read the descriptions, read the reviews. And then I think you'll be all right. But I'll let you know how this goes. If anything happens, I will definitely post about it. But maybe I'll do a update at the end of the growing season. In the fall, I'll see how it held up. All right, thanks. Bye.